We have the privilege this year as a production and online media marketing company to interview over 100 businesses and sponsors for the Westpac Business Awards in Auckland, New Zealand. It's an amazing experience to meet interesting people that are passionate about business and the success of their communities. We were left with one big question, and that is, what is the value of a business awards? Why celebrate businesses? Aren't there enough competition already in the market? And uh, we were looking for that answer. I think we found it. To achieve needs celebrating, because if we don't, why do it? You can often look at a business and say, you know, success is determined by the bottom line. For most, it's about to do what they're good at, to employ people, to sell their products and services, and to do it and to do it well, not only for them, but also for the communities in which they operate. Internationally, regions compete with regions, and within regions, communities compete with communities, and so they're looking to provide the best platform within their community, the best availability of employees, the best conditions for the business to be successful, because if the businesses in their communities are successful, then they will be successful. These awards appeal to a vast number of businesses who can have an opportunity to take a bit of time out to actually review how they're going. They then get a chance to hear through feedback as to how they're going relative to others, where the opportunities are to improve. And then they get to share successes on a stage which is through the regional awards. I need to really push my business up to the next level. We've got a good story to tell. Connecting with business was an incredibly important thing that we needed to do. We want to be measured against the best. I wanted to test myself against the total business market. We wanted to learn a little more about what our business model was. Our main objective really was to go through the process and see what we could learn from it. You can measure yourself against where you want to be, against where you'd like to be. It's a benchmarking exercise. Particularly when you're a very, very small company, you don't interact with other companies, you don't really know Know how you're doing. It's got us working on the business as well as in the business. It's great to be able to sit down with the judges and look at our business critically. You sit back and go, why? In an objective way. Do I measure up? You go through your business with a fine tooth comb. Answering the questions made me think right the way back. Where did we come from? Why did we do this? We come across a lot of things which we never thought of. That ability to just park away some time and think about your strategy is hugely powerful. We found it actually brought the team together and got us a little bit focused. The judges' comments often come back. We did get some suggestions from the judges and we are going to make a change. There's definitely learning involved. The selection process has been very, very inspiring. It really opened our eyes to a whole lot of things that we could probably do better in our business. We've actually implemented new processes. We thought that we might reach a different type of Client. It's already opening new doors. It's opened us up to a lot of other New Zealand businesses. It's certainly resonated with our suppliers, even customers are talking about it. I've learned that I'm better at marketing my business than what I thought. There is a lot of value to showcase the wonderful people that provide the jobs, the people that create the opportunities, that make the products and provide the services in communities. And as Michael Barnett has said, if there isn't successful business, there just isn't successful community. That's why we're involved. That's why we celebrate it every day with everything we do.